I'm Jim Culler. I'm here at Paraphernalia located in Arlington, Washington, where I oversee production, design, and rigging. I've been here for 26 years. Paraphernalia has been around since 1979. And we manufacture the uh, Softy emergency parachute systems used by pilots, primarily glider pilots, aerobatic pilots, warbird pilots, uh, and a lot of the home builders. The difference between a Softy and, say, a sport parachute Softy is a one single parachute system for pilots to bail out of their aircraft with in the case of an emergency. A sport system has two parachutes, a main parachute and a reserve. Softy is built as a replacement for your cushion, built for comfort, thus the Softy. Packing is done by three guys here, Charlie Markin, Jim Culler, and myself. Uh, we, we assemble, we actually manufacture the parachute harness and container here. Uh, we buy the canopies from a company down in, La, in the uh, LA area called uh, Free Flight Enterprises. They're in Lake Elsinore, California. And uh, we assemble them into our, our containers. Canopy came from the manufacturer and was opened and inspected. It has been inspected at this point probably I don't know, six or seven times between the manufacturer's inspections and then our own. Basically, it's making sure that all the stitches are where they belong, all the bar tacks that are the uh, integrity of the canopy are in, are in order. Now what Dan's doing here, he's going to attach the steering toggles, which are, in our case, yellow. and easy to see and they will be tacked down so they don't flop loose with the brake brake thread it only takes about six pounds of pressure to break that thread but it holds it in place for the uh, the user to find easily this process is called uh, canopy flaking or folding Just to organize all the material, he'll, he'll flake it over to one side, then he'll split it down the middle, equal amount of panels and lines on either side, creating a what we call a wind channel up the middle. And then we'll fold inward from there. Aero TV is brought to you by Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Part of a, uh, a nice looking pack job is a very neat pack job and it helps us find out where the lumps and bumps are because what you're wearing here is basically a $1,700 uh, cushion that you're going to use as an insurance policy and what we try to do is make it as comfortable as possible. So we will take all the seams that you can see there's little these little white areas, uh, those bands create a bit of a lump. So what we'll do is we'll spread those out a little bit and we'll, we'll fold them into convenient places. We're pretty good at putting them where they uh, are, will be comfortable for the person who's wearing it. What this is is a diaper. It collects the bottom of the canopy and we stole the lines on it so that there's no premature opening. It's a safety anti-malfunction device. So this will make sure all the lines are released before the canopy gets a chance to open. And this all happens in a matter of two seconds or less. Now it's a matter of putting things in proper place, keeping the hardware and the risers out to the side, away from the back of the user, off to the side so they don't dig into you anywhere. But what you're seeing here is the way paraphernalia packs their, their rig right here at the, at, the, at the factory. We have found this to be the most efficient for comfort and looks. As a skydiver, 
I used to see a lot of rigs that weren't maintained very well, and we had we had lost some friends because of that. At that time, I became a parachute rigger. A pilot should have his rig inspected every 120 days according, according to the FARs. You should store it in a cool, dry place, possibly in its bag, keeping it out of the ultraviolet rays, and don't store it in your aircraft. The importance of packing it every 120 days is to inspect it for wear holes, possibly from the grommets, especially from an aerobatic pilot's use. We'll inspect it, air it out, close it back up, and give you another 120 days to fly. We got six feet of bridle, which gets the pilot chute away from the from the uh, user after he pulls the ripcord. Yeah. We don't necessarily recommend they send them back to us. We like to see them about every five years. It's like seeing your kids come home. But there are some very qualified riggers out there, hundreds of them. And the parachute system we build, the Softy, is one of the easiest, most rigger friendly out there. Riggers generally like to pack these chutes. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. As a user, as a pilot, one of the things you should do before every flight is open your pin cover flap and make sure your pins are seated all the way in and not partially coming out. And you don't want your leg, you want your leg straps tight too. Well, adjust these things down so you can stand up and feel the firmness of it. This one fits firm. If I was to take opening shock right now, it'd be perfect. If it was real loose, this chest strap would go through my chin, and I'd be hanging underneath it with a bloody lip, bloody bloody nose. Loose leg straps during opening shock, you're going to be up here. You definitely want these things down and tight. All right, let's go fly. We have uh, approximately 9,000 parachutes out in the system right now. And uh, out of that 9,000, we've had 25 saves. The most recent was uh, Sean D. Tucker here back in April of 06. So he was able to get out and deploy his chute and watch his aircraft go in and safely land in the field next to it. We got a thank you note from his mother. When you get a call from somebody that, uh, that said they had to use our product, <laughs> it's uh, pretty amazing. You often wonder what, what you're doing in life and everybody has those questions and you get a phone call like that, it's quite pleasing. When somebody shows up with a rig that looks like he dumped it and he actually used it. In the case of Len Fox, he's a test pilot. He's testing to Columbia. He had his rig for only seven days before he couldn't get his Columbia out of a spin. And he showed up with the rig in his hand with a thank you and a bottle of booze. That's rewarding.